G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create your very own SFMC sync field in your Salesforce CRM which you can use to update your synchronized data extensions within Marketing Cloud. So as of the recent update we can no longer use the calculated fields from Salesforce CRM when trying to filter our data extensions using synchronized data extensions. So as a result we need a different solution to make sure we can filter our leads and contacts and other records from Sales Cloud before they get brought into Marketing Cloud. So today I'm going to show you how to create a SFMC sync checkbox on your lead object which we can then modify using a flow to detect if the lead is eligible to be synced into Marketing Cloud or not. So we'll start off today inside of our Salesforce CRM. I've got open my test record doctor test record. Now Dr. Test Record has an email address but they've chosen not to receive emails, they've chosen to opt out of emails. And as a result I don't want to sync this lead record into my Salesforce Marketing Cloud as I don't want it to consume one of my contact records. So what I want to do is make a new field on this lead so I can flag this as a do not sync into Marketing Cloud record. To do this I'm going to jump up into my settings here and go to edit my object. Now if you're not the admin of your instance you'll have to get your own Salesforce admin to do this for you. In my object manager I'll jump into my lead object. In my fields and relationships I'll click on the create a new field and my new field is going to be a simple checkbox. So I'll click the checkbox and then choose next. Now on the next screen I'll call this field the sfmc underscore sync. It's going to be unchecked by default that is I do not want to sync that record by default. I could add some description and helper text here as well but for now I'll just go on next. Now on the next screen I can choose which of my profiles who can see or only read this field. For now I'll leave them all as visible and I'll go on the next item. Of course for your own permissions I would recommend that you check out your own profiles and tick or untick the ones that you need for your business. And finally for the page layouts I want to add this new field to all my page layouts so I'll go save. And so now I should have my brand new field called SFMC Sync. I can check that by going back to my test record. I'll press F5 to refresh my screen. And hopefully we find ourselves with a brand new field. Go to my details and there it is, SFMC Sync, perfect. Now right now this record is unticked. Now that's good because I do not want to sync this record in. I could modify it and tick it which now means this record will be synced automatically. Great. The problem is I want this field to be automatic. I want it to detect when I do have an email address and I'm not opted out from email and make sure I do get synced through. If I have opted out or if I don't have an email address or perhaps another field I can listen to as well such as a deceased flag then I don't want to sync the record through. So I have to create some rules. Now to do this I'm going to jump back into my settings. So I'll go back onto my setup screen and click on home. I can use the flow function. So I'll type in flow can see here my flows. In my flows I'm going to create myself a brand new flow by uh, clicking on the new flow button which will launch our flow builder. I'm going to use a record triggered flow for today which is going to occur when a record is created, updated or deleted. So I'll choose that option and go create. So here we are with our flow builder. So to start with I have to choose what object I'll be using to trigger this activity. As I just modified the lead record I'll choose my lead in my object here. Next is how will it be triggered. I want this to trigger when the record is created or updated. Great I'll choose that one. Now for now I'm going to leave the entry conditions as it is. For the optimize for flow I want this to be a fast field update. It's going to happen before the record is saved so I'll choose the first option here and then go done. And that's our trigger for our brand new flow. Now once this triggers of course there has to be some kind of step that we do before it finishes. So I'll press on the plus button here and I choose to make an update. I'll update a triggering record. So my label here will be update sync. I'll click on my API name and it auto fills and now I can choose how this update rules record is going to apply. Now first of all it's going to use the lead record that was triggering this flow so I'll leave that one ticked. For my conditions, so what I'll do is I'll say when all conditions are met. I can start to write out my conditions. I'll make a nice simple one today. I'll just listen for the email address and the opt out flag. So in my fields I'm going to say if the email 
is equal to, no, how about we say is null is false. The email address is not false. And the email opt-out is equal to false. That is, they've not chosen to opt-out of email. If those two things are true, then what are we gonna try and set? Well, I've got my sync, my SVMC sync field. And I'll change that value to be true because you do not have a empty email address and you are not updated out of emails. Therefore, you can be synced to Marketing Cloud. Great, then I'll go done. And there's my simple flow. I can save this and it's gonna be called my lead SFMC sync and go save. And now I can try and activate this flow. And there we are, it's now active. So what I can now do is jump back into my test record and we can try it out. So as it stands, I can untick my sync and go save. And there we are, it's unticked. Now if I want to modify this opt-out record, because remember the rule said that you must have a valid email address or you must have a not null email address and you're not opted out from emails. Well, currently Dr. Test Record is opted out. So if I modify this to not opted out and go save, then bang, straight away. There's my SFMC sync now ticked, perfect. But what happens if I now go and opt this record back out again? I'll choose to opt out and unfortunately, it's staying as ticked. It's not gonna go back and change this to unticked. So I have to go back into our flow and change one more thing. So let's jump back into our flows tab and make ourselves a decision split. For those who know Salesforce Marketing Cloud Journey Builder, this will be very familiar. I can use my add element button here to add in a decision. What I'll do, I'll call this one my sync split. API name, with my first outcome, it'll be yes sync. And I can have some conditions where you must meet all the following conditions. Well, we of course want the lead email to be not null is true. And we want the leads email address opt out has got to be equal to false as well. Now, if these two conditions are met, we do want to sync this record into Marketing Cloud. However, we want another outcome as well. So we can go to the plus button here. Our new outcome will be no sync. Now this is gonna occur if the or condition is met. So if our leads email address, in fact, is null, is true, or if the leads email opt-out is equal to true. So, if the lead record has opted out from emails or they have a null email address, they'll go through the no sync option. Otherwise, if they meet the yes sync, they must have a valid email address and not be opted out of emails. Perfect. So we have to make sure as well that our execution records are, if the conditions are met, then it's going to go through this record for both. Perfect. I'll go done and here is our brand new split. What we can do, we can move this sync record up into our yes sync section by choosing it. We can cut the element, we can paste it just there. And the good news is, because we already have that decision split going on, this rule will be for those who are going to be synced. So I can jump into my sync record here and I can modify my element. I can actually remove those, condi uh, those conditions because we know that every single record that goes through that channel is going to be synced is true. So I'll go done and choose this and I can copy the element and I can paste it in there, modify this element. And so this one is going to be the no update sync. Just like that. And for this one, it's going to be update to false. There we are. So now, if the record comes through and it meets the conditions, it'll be yes, ticked. If they don't meet the conditions, it's gonna go through the no sync and it will be unticked. It will end the process. Great. Let's now save this new version as a new version of our flow. And we'll go save. Now we'll activate this version as well. Finally, let's now jump back into our lead record and try that for ourselves. Now, as we checked, we currently do have a uh, valid or an email address and they are currently opted out of emails. Let's just modify one thing to see if this works. How about I just modify the test record, test one. 
Great, so straight away we'd unticked the SFMC sync. What happens now if we go in and we untick our opt-out to make them opted back into emails? So I'll untick that and hopefully this one will tick. Perfect, that one ticked. And what happens now if we go back in and re-opt out our record, opt them out and go save and unticked. Perfect. So that's the hard part done. Let's now jump over into Marketing Cloud into our Contact Builder, jump into our data sources and we'll open up our synchronized data extensions. So I can jump into my synchronize tab here and I can choose my uh, Marketing Cloud Connect with my developer org. There it is. And let's find my lead object. There it is there. To open this one up, I can go in and change how I've got this record set up. Now currently I do have all records being synced with the has opted out of email equals false. And that's going to be able to be changed now as I've just made that brand new custom field which is my SFMC sync. So once my synchronized file loads here, I can jump into my configuration and modify these record collection rules. So before we can edit this synchronization, we have to bring in that field. So I can go to my edit fields button here. It's going to open up this current field set. I can type in my sync to find my SFMC sync. There it is there. I'm going to bring in that Boolean field and go save. What this will do is bring this brand new custom field in to my current synchronization. You can see it's going to start syncing up there. And once this is done, I can then modify it by choosing my edit button. Okay, so my new optional field has been synced up. I can see my SFMC sync is completed there. I can now choose the edit button. I can now go to my synchronize all records with SFMC sync is equal to true and save. So from now on, it's only gonna sync through my records where the SFMC field is equal to true, which I've already got that flow created in my sales cloud to make sure that only records who have a valid email address or a populated email address and the not opted out of email flag get synced through. So there you have it, a really simple way to get around the calculated field change in the Marketing Cloud update by using the Flow Builder in Sales Cloud. I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough today. If you have, please let me know in the comments below and with a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.